Hi, it's Flair. So if you've been watching my gaming streams lately, you'll notice that I've started playing a lot of Haunt Showdown, and that I'm really not great at it. However, in my hundred or so hours of playing so far, I've noticed that my heart rate fluctuates like crazy playing this game more than any other game I've ever played. It got me thinking, what if I could show my heart rate on, in a widget on stream? Fortunately, it turns out that this is very easy to achieve with the help of a heart rate monitor of some sort, the Pulsoid app, and a browser source. The folks at Pulsoid very generously sent me a heart rate monitor to use to try it out, and I've been super pleased with the results at how fast it was to get it all put together, with very minimal tech experience required. And I look forward to diving in and building some more complex integration with StreamerBot. But for now, we'll just talk about how to get the thing set up and running at all. Obviously, for this to work, you need a heart rate monitoring device. On screen, you'll see a general list of the supported devices scroll by. But as this list is subject to change, I'll put a link in the description to Pulsoid's most recent page. If you're an Apple Watch or Wear OS Watch user, those devices are supported as well but a dedicated heart rate monitor is recommended for accuracy. The device I'm using is a Kuspo H808S, and in my testing I've had absolutely no issue with it. To get set up, you'll first want to go to the Pulsoid website at pulsoid.net and sign up for a free account. I'll put the link in the description. You can do most of what I'm going to show with a free account with no issue, but there are some really cool advanced things you can do with a paid plan. We'll get to that later. If you decide to use a paid plan, pop in Flare as the coupon code and get 15% off. Once you've got your account set up on the Pulsoid website, you'll also want to download the mobile app, which is available for both iOS and Android devices. The heart rate monitoring device will communicate with your mobile app, which will then relay the information to Pulsoid servers where it can be delivered to your stream with a browser source or through direct integration with platforms like StreamerBot. Next, you'll want to assemble and put the monitor on. Instructions are going to vary based on the device, so consult the user manual. In the case of the Kuspo, I just had to remove a little plastic film from the battery compartment to activate the battery and then snap the monitor onto the chest belt before putting it on. The instructions say that for better accuracy, you want to moisten the chest belt a bit so it makes a better connection to your body. In my testing so far, this hasn't shown to be necessary. I haven't really noticed the difference. I've done it both ways, but that's what the instructions say to do, so that's what I did for my first couple tests. Once you're wearing the device, you can load up the Pulsoid app. I made what I imagine is a fairly common mistake and actively connected to the device in the Bluetooth menu from my phone, which made it so that the app couldn't find the device. This was counterintuitive to me, but the instructions are very clear about this in the app, so it was a lesson in actually reading the instructions instead of just bumbling through. You don't actually want to connect directly that way, but you do want to be sure that the device is showing up in the listed devices in your Bluetooth menu. Then load the Pulsoid app and log in using the credentials you established earlier, and it should scan for available heart rate devices. Click the appropriate device and it should connect, show a current beats per second and a battery level indication for your device. Now you're all set. If you have any trouble with this step, the app itself should have some pretty good troubleshooting steps, and the Pulsoid Discord is a friendly place to ask for help as well. I'll put a link to their Discord server in the description. Once you're connected, you'll notice that as you move around and breathe, the BPM in the app will fluctuate. Now, let's get this number onto our stream overlay. Pulsoid has a whole bunch of widgets for this right out of the box, so we'll get set up with one of those right now. In your web browser, go back to the Pulsoid site, Make sure you're logged in and go to your dashboard. In the dashboard, click widgets on the left. There's a huge range of free widgets available here, as well as a ton that are only available through the paid version. There are simple widgets with just the number displayed, themes for particular games, ECG animations, and so on. For the purpose of this guide, we're gonna grab the basic BPM widget and click add to my widgets. The widget will move up to the my widgets section at the top of the page, and we can now configure it and get ready to put it into our streaming software. Click the configure button and we'll take a look at how this is done. Depending on the widget you chose, there may be fewer or more options here, but you can see that you can adjust things like the font size and the color, the alignment, the color of the icon, all sorts of things. Once you're satisfied with the settings, click save settings in the bottom left and then click copy at the top next to the displayed browser source URL. Click the little info icon next to the URL and you'll see some instructions for adding this to your streaming software. Most important in this pop-up are the dimensions recommended for a browser source to match the widget size. In some cases, it'll use the default 800 by 600, but others will recommend a larger canvas size like 1920 by 1080. Now we go into OBS and add a new browser source. This works on Streamlabs desktop too if you must. Just use a browser source there in the same way. In your browser source, set the size as indicated in that pop-up we just looked at and paste the URL into the appropriate field. And that should really be it. You can use the clear cache button in OBS on the browser source if you make a configuration change in the widget and want to test. Changes made in the widget won't show up until you clear the cache with that button. You now have a dynamic widget in your overlay that displays your present heart rate and will change as your heart rate accelerates or decelerates. You test it by standing up and doing some jumping jacks or 
whatever you want. Uh, I tested by loading up Hunt Showdown and getting in a fight. Here's a scene I set up with a test and you can see me playing Hunt and getting pretty amped because I'm bad at the game and all my decisions are made from panic. This whole thing is exactly what I was looking for and it's great. There's a lot more we can do with Falsoid itself with the premium features and we'll dig into some of that in another video. But where the possibilities get really interesting is when you start looking into integrations. You want to change your background lighting based on your heart rate? Done. Lumia stream integration. Want to have clips created automatically when your heart rate spikes? No problem. Want your heart rate to show on your stream deck? Easy. I'll be tinkering over the next few weeks with integration between Pulsoid and StreamerBot, so keep an eye out for a more advanced video about that. Feel free to leave a comment about what you would like to control based on your heart rate, and I'll do my best to point you in the right direction. Enjoy having your heart rate easily visible on stream, and have fun. Now, go check out this other cool video.